client server model in the sense client and server there are two terminologies okay we know that already but this particular term we don't know okay okay so this is yes. maybe server provides the resources hmm. and services to client okay right but who is client here server provides resources so client maybe like our computer and the or uh, okay. provide services through the internet but uh, i can say i can say it like server okay. is a uh, hosting so, so hosting far, uh, yeah so far server is hosting the data yes yeah. server will host the data and mm -hmm. then what is the client if we know the client then it is completed that's it anything which is almost in it okay if you see if you start uh, seeing things okay if you start analyzing things okay you have a front end application okay see now uh, you all you will give so many answers after this okay you have front end application okay this is client side it could be anything application it's not only application maybe i can say front end interface okay so this is client side and every time you initiate it or whenever you launch the application okay it connects to the server that is back end server so so now who is our front end, front end here in our uh, daily class what is front end what we are using as a front end instance sir instance yes so the service now instance that we are using maybe we can call it as an application or we can call it as a shortcut okay so this is front end we are on client side when i say we are on client side this is our client side so let's see incident okay so give me one second yeah so when i type incident here okay and then open okay it is connecting to back end and it is showing me the data in front end which is available from back end so the data is there in server and i am using a front end interface to access my data this is client server model a client can be anything <clears throat> your gmail is a client and your emails are retrieving from server right your g drive is client the interface the shortcut that you are using in your uh, android phone or apple phone okay that is client and the data it is pulling from is server so now client server model everywhere any application you see that uses in it okay it is not only application but the data of of the application will store either in their server maybe local server or a cloud server if it is a physical environment if it it will store in a local hosting local server if it is virtual means cloud based the cloud the database will store the data but that is a secondary point for us only point is there are two things one is we are using an interface to access the data second thing is we have uh, a server which is storing the data hosting the data this is client server model so now can you agree that service now is a client server model even if you say aws aws someone went told aws is also client server amazon web service web service google cloud everything not only cloud okay don't only see cloud okay uh, you have one server okay and uh, the server is connected to 10 people and uh, it also connected with 10 application right so every time you launch the application okay you create a something okay then the data will go on store in server like a icic employee is there okay so i uh, i got a request says create 10 user accounts 10 new accounts in icic database what i do i have an interface as a agent i'll create new account and then give all the details save it where the data will go on store it will go on store in a back end database let's say the back end database is a physical database they only managing the servers still it is cloud server model or 
the server is with someone cloud aws cloud or gcp cloud alibaba cloud any cloud so that is also client server model you, you all agree now is that clear ma prashanti garu is that clear sindhu garu prithiba garu shila garu yes sir yes sir yeah srinu garu is that clear and okay everyone so client server model is one of the general terminology that we use okay it is not like but when we are seeing this one means when we are understanding this one what is very very important is okay when you are using a front end the front end is a kind of just an interface to access your back end data which is hosting in the database you agree to the statement and yes sir yes sir yeah, the front end can be anything now start seeing the things from now like whatever you are using applications everything if you are using it and you are seeing the data coming from somewhere it will come from a uh, it will come from a host see every day i am uploading videos na no? i am uploading to a share so go file is one of the server i don't know who are maintaining it i work right so whenever i am uploading a new video so the video is copying into okay some place in the server okay and it provides a link to us so let's say i i i am just uh, submitting it okay maybe this is not uh, friend uh, this is not uh, the example for client server model but generally i am saying okay so this is providing a link let's say you have a go file application okay and it is associated with the account so every time i share it now like here i have an option called share okay when i click share it will ask you to select a user uh, email id i will give the email id if i give a email id and if you are using an application something like android application like go file okay it will show you in your inbox says a new file is uploaded with a name okay for class 1 if you want you can just click it if you click it it either opens it or downloads it but from where it is getting till the time it is there in their server this is called this is how it the thing this is how the data is uh, data is managed in it managed in the sense okay placed accessed controlled everything updated 